back here on Busted Open. Dave LaGreca and Mark Henry. A hot show today, Mark, for sure. A lot of opinions. And somebody for the first time here on Busted Open, and there's very few wrestlers that have been hotter than Nia Jax over the last 12 months. She is not like most girls. She is not like most girls, and we have her now. And Nia Jax, welcome to Busted Open. How are you this morning? I'm great. Thank you. How are you guys? Very good. And how are you, young lady? Uh, Just, you know, waking up here in beautiful Phoenix. You know what? Uh, Last night, we were talking about the show and the flow of the show and how it started with so much wrestling. Yeah. I mean, the first hour and a half was all wrestling. And uh, did you enjoy that as much as we did? Oh, my gosh. You know how it is in the back. Like, I was sitting there. Um, by Gorilla just planted at, at the screen, just watching. These guys were putting on a, an insanely amazing show. I mean, Seth Rollins just freaking, I, I think he tore the house down. He did such an amazing job. I mean, they, they all did, but for me, Seth stood out the most. Yeah, it, it made all of us think that now, uh, going into WrestleMania, who's hotter? I mean, he, I think fatigue is what was the victor. Uh, he, he got beat by fatigue. And uh, to be able to produce like he did for so long, I I, I just have to give him the nod. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, Seth has always been such a great athlete. It's, you know, you've seen that for as long as he's been on the road. But I mean, watching last night, it just, it made me even a bigger fan of him. So it was pretty cool. I had, I had highly enjoyed it. I couldn't, I I almost forgot that I was on the show. (laughs) I was was caught up in watching them. I was like, Oh gosh, I'm on. I got to make sure that I get ready. You know? Yeah. Well, we, we, we talk about the guys, but we really here. We, we wanted to talk to you about the women's movement and, um, what's going on with you outside of wrestling. But right now you and Oscar, man, I, I, Last night, I, I was, like, not expecting the drubbing that you put on. I mean, like, you just went in. If I think if you go in with that mindset, uh, you'll be champion. Ooh, well, hey, let's hope that happens soon, right? Well, I, I say uh, go in there the same with the same mentality, man. That was that was that was powerful. I, I really enjoyed the fact that you went in with a game plan, you stuck to it, and saw it through, and you left her laying there, and um. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I've been the one, a big advocate for Oscar because she's, uh, she's very, very solid. I have not seen a weakness yet. And even from yeah. the standpoint of, you know, this is going to be really out of, well, not out of character because you know me, but, um, but, Oscar was dressed up last night. She had on like, uh, man, what do you call those things? Like the legging things? I don't, I don't I mean, I I can't call it, but I, I oh, the garter. 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 She was she was Oscar was out there trying to show out. Yeah. Well, you know, Oscar. I have so much. I have great, great, great respect for her as an, as a um, as a performer, as a wrestler. I mean, she has done so much before she even got here to the WWE. You know, she, if you watch some of her stuff, that woman is as tough as freaking nails. Like. It's, tough as it gets like probably i'm i'm so excited because that's one of the the toughest competitors i've I've ever stepped in the ring with and um and so yeah but she also has a side to her that's a little you know it's sexy you know it's always cool as a woman to show that we we can we can go out there and kick some butt but you know there is that sexy side to us that we like to show off so yeah well, i'm Austin glad you it. brought that up because you had the you had the lace on last night <laughs> yeah you know, I mean, badass women can have a little bit of, you know, sexiness to them. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, one of the one of the strong points of the whole women's movement is the fact that there's so much versatility. You have uh, the the fast, you have the acrobatic, you have the the yeah. ground base, you have strikers, you have uh, you, I guess you play the the Braun Strowman, Mark Henry role. You're the beast in the yeah. in in the, yeah. in the in the in the girls' movement. And um, what do you think going forward that is lacking? Is there anything that you look at as being lacking in the development and the future of women's division? Well, first, I just want to say that I'm like insanely honored that you. I got compared to you. Not trying to be freaking. You know, you're just 
you're one of the greats and the strongest. So, um, but um, I don't well, know you. what we're lacking. I mean, we have, you're right. We have such versatility. I mean, you got our champ who, you know, she's very conniving and has that attitude and, and, you know, she's smart, you know, then we have, we have our veteran Mickey who comes in and she still shows out every night and just puts on such a great show for us. And she teaches the youngings, you know, how to work and how to, how to, um, how to do stuff out there. Then we have, you know, Paige who's still, who's still contributing her amazing talents. And, um, we have Bailey, the hugger who just, you know, you want to, you literally want to hug. She's such a sweetheart, but she's also got such great talent. And, um, we have Sasha who has such a great arsenal as well. And we have uh, newcomers, we, we just I don't know what else we can I, I don't think there's a weakness. Bring. I don't I don't we I'm just, my yeah. partner here in crime, Dave LaGreca, uh is What up, Dave? What's going on, Naya? Dave Dave had a couple of uh questions that he wanted to ask. I'm I'm a I'm a bow out for a second and let him do his thing. But I, I just <laughs> wanna thank you so much for uh, being able to take on that role as the heater in the in the industry for women. Yeah. Uh, you're doing a hell of a job. I'm very proud of oh, you. I, I don't always tell y'all, uh, but I'm going to let you know right now, I think that um, you have an unbelievable future ahead of you, and uh, you're just oh, cracking the so surface. Much. Oh, thank you, Mark. I really appreciate that. It means so much coming from you. Thank you. And, and I, you have a huge match coming up at Elimination Chamber, and just think of this. It's amazing, and, and you've done this in in such a short time. You know, you had your NXT debut in 2014, and here you are having a huge match on a pay per view as we get closer to WrestleMania. Just talk about what the last you know three to four years have been for you. Uh, it's it, it's been a dream. It's kind of just it's something that I I didn't think that um I always wanted to do. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's something that, like, it's, it, I got a taste of it in the ring, and I have just fallen completely head over heels in love with. And so it's been a, a great journey, and I don't even know how to explain it. It, it feels like it's, it's gone by in a blink of an eye. I'm thinking, like, four years. I feel like I just started last week, you know, because I'm still constantly learning and trying to soak in as much as I can. Like, as from last night watching the men, I mean, I feel like, just sitting there at the screen trying to soak in all that, that talent and that information and the storytelling they were putting on. I mean, it's just, it's been amazing. You know, and, and Naya, talk about uh, WrestleMania 28, because I, I think I've heard somewhere that really was WrestleMania 28 in that main event between The Rock and John Cena that made you say, hey, this might be something I want to do. Yes, definitely. I mean, it was just, we, I obviously got to sit front row with, with my aunt and, and watch Dwayne and, and just the energy and seeing the, not just watching them in the ring, but seeing the fans on the outside, you know, like at the end of the day, they are what make us who we are and watching them and the energy and the, the passion that they had watching that match is what really gave me, you know, that gave me the bug. I was like, Oh my gosh, I, I want to do this. I want to get in there. I want to tell the stories. I want to put on a good show. I want the people to be invested in what I'm doing in there, you know? And that's when I watched John and, and Dwayne in there. It's just that nobody, I mean, no better storytelling than those two, you know? It was amazing. Well, you know that uh, this morning uh, I text Atta and said, hey, you, you might, I don't know if you have serious XM radio, but you have got to listen in that I have a very <laughs> special guest coming on. And um, so, I, I, hopefully, she's listening. I have, I'm sure she is, and if she is, I'm sure she'll get a copy. Trust me, my aunt. <laughs> my aunt is somebody who is still, you know, she's been in this business. Nobody realizes it for like about 40 years. Yeah, you know, she's she started way back with you know Uncle Peter, and she valeted him. She knows this this business inside and out, and I still go to her for advice regularly. As should she, you. She texts me. After every raw, every raw I'm on, and she will tell me exactly what I did right, what I need to work on, and the, her great insight. <clears throat> Sorry, that's all right. It's it's awesome. I I have my confidants. Pat Patterson was always that guy for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I hope that you would use that resource as well. Uh, he's uh, more than brilliant, and we we we've touched on a bunch of things like about smart and education and. 
what we do outside of of pro wrestling and sports entertainment, if you will. Um, yeah. You you have the the uh, open form to you know list all of your vital <laughs> statistics as well as your educational standards and the fact that you you modeled uh, for a yeah. long time and still model. Uh, I think yeah. I saw like a, a runway deal not long ago. Yeah, the New York Fashion Week. I got to walk in that for the first time, which was amazing. Yeah, it was like a crazy dream. I, you know, I went to co- like when I graduated high school. Before I went to college, I, I had a basketball scholarship because I played sports my entire life, and I had off- been offered a basketball scholarship. But then I was also offered a modeling contract, and it was something that I was. Just, they had introduced me to plus size modeling. They said, you know, there's a, there's a whole world of plus size modeling out there and we'd love for you to come sign on with us. And it, it's a, it was an agency called Wilhelmina and they were in New York city. And I was living in San Diego, California in Carlsbad. And my dad was the one who said, Hey, he said, Hey, Bubby girl. That's what he calls me. He's like, Hey, this would be an amazing opportunity. He's like, you can always go back and play some basketball. You're still young. He's like, but I think you should try modeling out. And, uh, Honestly, I didn't think that, you know, I went and I tried it out. I moved to New York City at 18 years old and and I was I was modeling, you know, I was on billboards in New York in Times Square and wow. you know, I did some campaigns for Lane Bryant and you know, Dillard's and Bloomingdale's and it was it was crazy and then but then I always want, had that, you know, athletic bug in me. So I I went back to college, I got my business degree, I played some basketball and um but then I still continued on my modeling because it, it was something that I, I fell in love with. But yeah, I still do it to this day. And it's, um, I'm blessed that people actually still considered me model worthy. <laughs> so well, Will- I, Wilhelmina I, is one of the top five modeling agencies in the world, if not number one. And they don't yeah. hire no lames. So we, <laughs> we, we know exactly who you are. Yeah. So it's cool. And, you know, like, in, in this time now, like when I grew up, I didn't see a lot of bigger athletic women being shown in such a positive, beautiful light, you know? And, and I feel like the platform I'm getting today in the WWE and how they really do, they support me 110% when I want to go and show myself and in a beautiful light and just realizing that, you know, they're all young girls and we're not all the same. And and we all come in different shapes and sizes and, you know, they sh- there should be something for everyone, you know, and, and me being able to show that like, Hey, little girl, you know, you might be a little bit taller than the, than the rest of your friends, but trust me, there's a, there's a place for you here. There's a place for all of us. And, you know, there's women out there doing it. And I think it's, it's really cool. And I'm very, I'm very blessed that they're able to, to help me show that and, and spread that message. Well, well, now I talk about that platform because, you know, I watch Monday Night Raw with my daughter and my wife and you're, you know, you're somebody that both my wife and my daughter can look up to. So, you know, t- talk about what that's like and having that platform and having those resources that you're able to do that. Well, I, it's crazy. I never realized the impact. I mean, obviously WWE is worldwide, right? It's, it's everywhere. And when I started coming on the scene, just, just really new into the NXT and people started re- seeing me, I got a lot of positive feedback from my friends, like my friends back home. And they're like, oh my gosh, you're doing such great things for young girls. And, and then it clicked in my head. I'm thinking like, wow, I didn't think that that was something that I could do here. And I just started pushing it more on social media and, you know, and, and social media is such a huge thing with kids nowadays. And I, you know, keep promoting it. And then even when I go out into the ring, like, yes, I, I am the big bad heater monster, but you know, I'm out there showing young girls that like, I can still be athletic just because I'm a big bad heater. I can still go out there and, you know, cut promos like the other pretty girls and, you know, wear my hair down, put the makeup on and, and do, do everything that they say that you can't. And it's, it's cool because even WWE gets behind it. Like with the New York fashion week, it was something that, you know, I kind of went out and, and found on my own with the help of, uh, with the help of some, some amazing women, um, in the background. And, and, uh, and so we brought it to the WWE and we said, Hey, look, this, it was a day off I had, and you know, we rarely get days off. And I said, Hey, look, this is all my day off. This company is willing to put me in their fashion show. I think it'll be a great thing for our WWE viewers to see what not only a different size Nia Jax, but see that look like, look how beauty comes in so many different shapes and sizes. And so, and, 
and you know, I got to walk in it and WWE covered it and I got such great feedback from it. It it's you know, I never thought I would be able to to spread the message of such body positivity and just being uh positive in general. But I am insanely grateful for it. There with with so much of the uh body shaming that's going on in, in the world today, uh to see you come out and uh kind of smash all of that like uh, I it, it makes me feel good I have a daughter that is an athlete and she, as young as she is eight years old uh she's got the why are you why are you built like a boy and stuff like that so is, is there uh yeah. any websites or uh anything that you follow that um that helps young girls with identifying with themselves you know, personally, when I, I didn't, I had, I just, I had a great support system. My mom, and I'm sure you with your daughter, my mom and I were so close. And she was always telling me, like, not everybody understands differences, but everybody is different. And they need to understand that that makes us all the same. And that's something that, like, I feel like it should come from a parent or a, somebody who's close to you that they can trust. Like I trust my mom with everything. And she has to this day, like she's always telling me like, you have to believe in yourself because if you don't believe in yourself, then nobody else will. Amen. And it doesn't matter what people call it. Yeah. It doesn't matter what people call you and what they tell you. You think they, they think you are. It's what you think you are and what you show them you are. Because at the end of the day, you can change how they think by feeling like by being true to yourself. And so, I mean, that's just sorry. That's just me. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't. You know, they they see you on television. They don't know your true personality. We're gonna let the cat out <laughs> the bag. You are funny. You are one of the funniest people that I know. You have <laughs> such a great sense of humor. I was. Uh, well, how did that come about? What What is it that makes you that way? You know, I I guess because I I grew. Up, I have two brothers, and you know we have such a big family, and we're just so we just, we always crack jokes on each other. You know, I, I don't know if you grew up with siblings, like when you're always just trying to like prank your sibling. And <laughs> honestly, and my mom is probably the number one pranker. And we would just, we caught it on. So growing up, I would, I would always, I literally, and it sounds, it's a, it was embarrassing at the time, but I got voted class clown in high school. So I've always I can had, believe like, that. That could get you in trouble yeah. too when you're in high school, <laughs> being the class clown. Oh, yeah. Oh, I definitely, I just, cause I have such a big personality and sitting still and being quiet is obviously not my, my no, no, not so much. (laughs) It doesn't doesn't suit me very well. So that's definitely, you know, so I, I do, I like having fun. I, I like enjoying times. I like everybody to have fun around me. And I don't know if you've met my cousin Dwayne, but he's kind of, it kind of runs in the family. He's a clown too. He's definitely a clown. So yeah, it's just something we all do. You know, now I have to ask you because it's been a hot topic. You know, we had Sasha Banks on just a couple of weeks ago and we asked her about this and, you know, she didn't have anything nice to say. So she didn't say anything at all on Sunday, along with the match that you're having with Oscar. Uh, R- you know, Ronda Rousey is going to sign her uh, contract with Monday Night Raw at Elimination Chamber. Um, are you excited? Not excited? Are you happy? Not happy about the signing of Ronda Rousey? You know, I, I'm very excited. Ronda Rousey has, has done, has started, well, not started, but she made, was a huge, huge part in the women's revolution all over the world and part of the WWE. And now she's coming to the WWE. It is going to be absolutely amazing. She is so talented and has so many things to bring to us. It's literally going to expand the women's division and just it's people don't even realize how much she's going to bring and how far it's going to take us. So I'm, I personally am very excited for her to come. I know that um, she's willing to put in the hard work. I've seen her put in the hard work in the UFC and how hard she worked to, you know, to get to where she got. And, and I know that she's going to be able to, to, prove herself here at the WWE. So I'm I'm very excited for her to sign that role. I'm very excited to step in the ring with her and and actually, you know, see what we can do together. So it's it's gonna be great. I have I have nothing but positive things for anybody who wants to come to the WWE because it is not an easy place to you know to get into and it's not easy to get through. 
So if you feel as though you can get here and if, and if you feel you can get through it, I am all for it. And I say, welcome, bring it on. Does she need to be like ultra respectful? Like on Sunday when she comes to Elimination Chamber, does she need to, you know, step into the locker room, make sure she greets the other wrestlers? Is there that type of bond or is it something that really doesn't mean that much to you as far as an outsider coming in? Well, definitely. Respect is number one in this business. You definitely have to walk in the door with, you know, a lot of respect you know, handshakes, eye contact, introducing yourself. You know, we're a family at the WWE. We are a very tight-knit family, and we're very protective of our family. So when an outsider comes in, you want to make sure that their out, that outsider sorry, is worthy to step into the family. And Mark knows that we are so tight-knit, that, and that's what it is. We're very protective. So when, you know, when Sasha says she has nothing nice to say, it, it's not necessarily that she wants to go out and be mean. I think she wants to just make sure that that person's worthy of stepping into her family. You know, well That's said. Valid, very yeah. well said. Well, I, I I tell you right now, um, I think that Rhonda is going to be great for business. Uh, Rhonda is yeah. about 140 pounds, and when she steps in the ring with you, she's going to be in the wrong weight <laughs> class. And I think that. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> she better she better be ready to go because I know what's about to happen. And Oscar got a lot of it last night. And I look forward to seeing that the elimination chamber yep. what's gonna happen. And listen, wait, you know, if she beats if Nia beats Oscar at Elimination Chamber, we're gonna be seeing her going after that Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania. So she would be going from WrestleMania twenty eight watching to being in one of the main events at WrestleMania. And we wow. can't be more happier than to see that night. It's been an absolute pleasure having you on the show today. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you bringing me on. Thank Nia, you. guess what? What? I'm giving you that look right now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, Mark. Stop it. <laughs> I always say, hey, you're a model. And I look at it like, Oh my God! And she she'll go stop, stop doing that. <laughs> well, well, Naya, I'm in the room alone with him as he's giving that look. I'm giving so him. The, I'm giving Dave the look he's, right he's now. He's giving Naya. me the look. So I'm, I, I gotta admit, I'm a little uncomfortable. I don't know how it feels for you, but and now he's yeah. This, this, this is this is a little creepy. <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing? I can't help it. Oh, God. <laughs> Naya Jax, Naya, thank you so much for the time. Thank really you so much. It. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. You have a good one. All righty.